Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode here on the 67 GTO. I think where we last, last left off, we were getting ready to take the rocker panel out or it's actually get ready to start work on the bottom of this car. And I believe I had mentioned we were going to do the um, kick panel area first and then do the rocker panels. Well, as always with all these projects, little change of plans, I'm actually gonna go ahead and get the rocker, the outer rocker installed on this car to help control any movement. There's so much movement going on that this car is so flimsy with the rust over the years. Even though I have it braced, I'm just going to feel more comfortable with getting the two outer rockers installed before we drop the rest of the floor out. So I've got the bottom of that A pillar, that'd be the right side A pillar kick panel area torn apart and I'm going to turn the camera around here and show you what we found. What we have here, this would be the bottom of the door jam in the front. This is for your hinge. This is your hinge reinforcement. This is the hinge reinforcement plate. And as you can see, there's rust on that that we're going to have to clean off. There is some pitting that I have to fix. We're going to have to treat and coat all of this. But if you look in here, you also see that the bottom this would be the bottom side of the A pillar that you cannot see. This is where it meets up against the rocker. And if you glance down that, if I can get the camera in here, you can see that this is all pitted all the way up. You can even see holes in here. So I'm going to have to rebuild this area. This was something I was not aware we were going to have to do until I tore into it. And like always, when you uncover it, you got to fix it. So that's what we're going to do, but we're going to end up replacing a lot of the metal in here, treating that brace, welding some of the, the, uh, the pinholes shut. There's a few up in this area here, right around there. We're going to have to weld them shut. And then we're just going to clean this all up. We're going to coat this with, you could use either a chassis saver. You can use uh, POR 15. Those are both great products. They do not like UV. So you do not want them exposed to anything that's going to get sunlight. So these are perfect areas for here. Clean it all off, wire brush it, blow it out, get it as clean as you can, and then put that stuff right over top of it. It kind of encapsulates everything. It seals the surface from oxygen. Once you stop the oxygen from getting to it, no more rust. But with the car, with the big hole in the floor here, I go up inside here, you can kind of see this is the bottom. That would be a uh, courtesy light if you're looking up where the dashboard would be. And you can see all what you're seeing there on the bottom of that cowl area, there was like a spray glue that they had on there and they had some sound deadening material and it has just caused that all to rust. So there's more areas there that I'm going to have to clean off and we'll treat it the same way with the chassis saver. I just use the chassis saver because it's available right next door. It's real easy. Boom, done. The Pour 15, I can't get it locally. I'd have to order it, so I just rather use the chassis saver. But that's kind of where we're at. You can see as I move down, I cut a whole section of the floor out. And the whole rocker is gone. This would be the bottom of the quarter panel. Since I wasn't aware that I was going to have to replace the outer rocker when I did the quarters... I did not go ahead and drill out the spot welds for here. This tab is part of the brace for the rear jam. This is the brace for your door latch. I got lucky and this was barely welded from the factory and it separated real easy. So I hope the other side is the same. But you can see I drilled out all the spot welds along that piece right there. This is the inner quarter structure. We'll go ahead and hammer all that straight. Once we get the rocker in here, we'll be able to weld to it. I'll come in from the inside, and I have holes punched along the quarter panel here that you can see, and I'll also weld that to the rocker panel. So once I get everything cleaned up and treated, I can get the rocker panel in here. But I've got to fix all this first. So there's going to be a bunch of work. A lot of work just to get to putting the good metal back on. So... Time is money. It is what it is at this point. I know I'm a broken record, but again, this is why this is so expensive. You've got to fix this. 
You know, just because you don't see rust, and these are areas that you would never see on a car, doesn't mean that it's okay to leave it there. I had to get into here because of all the rust, so now we have to fix all of this. So be aware of that. A lot of old cars out there that have had rust issues in the past, this is what you're going to find when you get deep down inside. I'll show you the inner, the inside of the rocker panel. These were packed full of seat foam. And if the camera picks it up, you look inside there, you can see that that rocker panel on the inside is pitted pretty bad. So that was rust waiting to happen. If you were to sand that bodywork and paint over it, that rocker panel would have popped within less than a year. I'm gonna continue on our GTO project here, working on that area right there, getting everything fixed, getting everything cleaned and treated and ready to put the brand new rocker panel in. So when we get to that point, I'll grab the camera, we'll come back, we'll take a look at everything I have before I put the rocker in. You can see the way I did the repairs. You'll be able to see the way I treated everything. And then we go on from there. So there you go, there's your update on the 67 GTO. Stay tuned for more.